Hey guys, Dan Meyer here at the lake, about to head out to do some crappie fishing. I don't have a lot of time this morning, so I'm going to get out, try to get on a bite real quick because I only have maybe an hour to two to catch some crappie. So the plan is simple. I'm going to get out. I think I know about where they're going to be, general area. I'm going to drill a whole bunch of holes and then just power fish these holes with soft plastic and uh, hopefully be able to get on some crappies. was fishing yesterday. Got... We fished a new lake. I was out with my buddy Josh, and we we had looked at a lake map. This lake looked good, so we tried it. Never fished it before, and we found the crappies, and we found them good. The problem was they were running a little small. So I moved over here to this lake today, and uh, I'm going to see if I can get on a little bigger fish because I need some crappies for a fish fry. So... We got a pretty nice morning. It finally it finally warmed up, so it's pretty it's pretty nice out. The problem is we're gonna have some pretty heavy wind, so that's gonna make it a little miserable. But let's see if we can get on some fish. All right, so after a long walk, we're out here in the in this general area where these fish could be. So now it's time to start drilling a whole bunch of holes, seeing if we can locate where these schools are at. Packed light today. Just got two rods, a flash, and an auger. I'll tell you what, it is warm after that walk. I'm taking my jacket off. Let's punch some holes. Hopefully my first series of holes is all I need because my auger just died on me. And I know what it was. There's a fuel cord that popped loose. Um, so hopefully my first series of holes works. Which I think it will. Because I've got fish in my first hole. Alright guys, so I'm here at the first hole. And I had fish in it. They're gone. Oh, there's one down there now. How oh, he's leaving. I'll see if we can get him to come back. There was like two or three. My auger has died. We need to get some fish today. Oh, there's fish down there. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Right there. First hole. This is what you like to see. The weather has picked up. Let's see if we can get some of these fish to bite. All right, so he's seen me. I don't even have, I didn't even tip this with a waxy yet. Come on, guy. I got my, he's come right up for it. Let's see if we can get this bite, there's a bite. There we go, instant, right away. Right away guys, instant. Oh yeah, look at this guy. That's a nice, look at that guy. That's a nice crappie, instant. That's, when you do your homework, that's what happens. Okay. I didn't even have to tip this guy. There's no more fish in the hole. Fish number one. Let's see if we can get another one. Okay, we're going right back down, same hole. No waxy. Normally I tip him. There was another fish down there, he's gone now. Let's get let's get back down here. Okay. Let's see if we can attract another one in with just some jigging. If I can't, I'll move to another hole. Got a little interference down there. Right now, I'm just using soft plastic, not even tipping it. What the heck here? Right. Dude, so I'm gonna pop. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna sit in these holes too long. I'm power fishing today. If I don't get a mark, I'm moving to the next hole. But you know what? As soon as I jump from this hole to the next hole, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, just. I, I don't think, there's no. There's no. The fish moved on. The bad news is because my auger died, I can't pop any more holes. So, and I know what happened to my auger. There's a fuel tube, and it, it's a new auger. Bought it last year, and this fuel tube keeps popping out. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take it apart and attach it again. It's a real pain in the butt. All right, we're going to the next hole because there was a bunch of fish in this hole. Now they're gone. We gotta get them before the uh, before the bite ends. I don't know how long this bite's gonna go. I got here late today, which is not good. I wanted to get here at 7:30. I think it's about nine o'clock that I'm fishing. Let's go check the next hole. Hole number two. He's got no fish right now. I really See, normally I would drill a bunch of holes around that first hole where that fish was. But my auger's dead. 
There's no fish here. We're going to the next hole. fish in this hole. There are guys next to me, so I don't want to be too loud. Oh, one fish just left. You got to get your bait down there so quick because when they leave, you know, they're gone. They're not coming back for a while. Oh, holy crap. The school just moved into this hole, guys. I'm taking these gloves off. I'm going to get bit. God, I just got down there. I see a crappie coming up. He's coming up. There we go. Got him. Oh, and it's, look at this fish pull. Yes. Yes. Nice crappie. Yes. And they're going to get a lot bigger than this. This is a nice crappie, though. Let's unhook this guy. Oh, he just pounded this floor. Just pounded it. Look at this. He's using soft plastics. Come on, he just pounded this thing. I can't even get it off. There we go. Tail is way down. I'm gonna need a new piece of plastic on here really quick. We're gonna keep this. I still got two fish down there. Let's get back down there. Oh, they're leaving. There's one down there. The other one is left. We gotta hurry up. He's leaving too. We might be too late for the rest of these fish. We might be able to get one to come back. But we might need to move. I'm gonna have to come on. Alright, we're down there. Down the fish. He's on the bottom. Oh, I don't that might be a perch. You never know. Oh no, it's a big mark. He's coming up. You like a higher mark for a crappie, but oh, there's another fish. Got him! Oh, instant, guys. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a nice fish. He just popped. Yes. Look at this guy. Yes. Let's go. Look at this guy. Look at that. That is a good fish. That is a good-looking fish. There's pounding this soft plastic. That wind is howling. There's another fish down there. I gotta... This little piece of plastic is not gonna last much longer. I'm gonna throw on it. I gotta get down there though. There's another one down there waiting. Oh, another fish coming in, guys. Another fish coming in. Listen to that wind. Oh, that wind is bad today. This new hole. And I can see a fish down there. He's on Here he comes. He's off to the side, but he's coming. He's... Oh, right at it. Right at it. Right at it. Bam. Got him. Pounded him. Instant. This is awesome. Here we go. Another nice crappie. Look at that guy. Another nice crappie. Instant. The fish are biting right now. But what I don't know is if we're just getting a bite window or if this is just going to be a really hot day. We have a fish in this hole, guys. We're rushing the bait down. We just have a soft plastic on here. We got that VMC. We don't even, or that 13 fishing. I don't even have it, I don't have it tipped. So let's see if they'll hit it without it being tipped. Instant. God, oh, that was a big one and I just lost him. I should have given him one more second. There's another fish down there. That was a big fish I just missed. Oh, shoot, now the school's leaving. That's a heartbreaker. I just missed a nice one. He just came up and pounded it. And now the school is gone. That, that the disturbance of pulling that fish out, I think, made the school move. I'm, just, I'm about to jump to a different hole. Darn, that was a nice fish. And I just missed him. Let's jump over here to this next hole. <laughs> the guys next to me, I don't think they're catching anything, so I'm trying to be kind of quiet. No fish in there. No fish in there. So we're going to go back up to this hole. You gotta be on these fish quick. Huh. No fish in this hole either. Don't like that. Check this hole again.
way in hell. Here's one flying right up at him. He's right on it. Come on. Come on. Oh, got him. Oh, this is a perch. I was afraid of that. There's a crappie down there and I get a perch. That wind is howling. We gotta get right back down there. I gotta make sure this reel closes properly too. Oh, I got a school there and I got a mess up on my rod. Come on, guy. Not right now. There we go. Let's get right back down here. This, oh, there's two nice, nice marks down there. We gotta get down there quick so we can get these guys. Oh, another one's coming in. Oh, he comes in higher. He wants this bait more than the other two. There he is, the instant. Popped him. There we go. Nice crappie. This is awesome, guys. When you're in here and the bite is on, I'm fishing a high pressure lake. I got guys around me, so I'm talking quiet. And they, these, these fish are, are hitting. This is fun. This is, you know, it just pays to do your homework. Find these kind of spots by scouting, a lot of scouting. Yesterday I was out scouting and it didn't pay off. We found fish, but they were small. You know, today we're on a hot bite. It's just, you gotta put in the time to get days like this. Here comes another fish. Here comes another fish. He's flying up at it. It's instant. There he is. Got him. Oh yeah. Got him. This is, there we go. Yep, another nice crappie. Ouch. He fit me. He fit me. Another nice crappie, guys. These are good eating crappies. And I got fish. I mean, I just got a school down there like you wouldn't believe. But you, and I'm surprised at how long they're staying. Usually they're out oh, now. See, now they're moving. They're moving on. There's still a couple down there, though. I might be able to pick. Oh, another one appeared. And he, he appeared as my bait's falling down. It's like the, my, the drop of my bait is attracting these guys. Got him. There we go. Another. This is, I can already tell. Oh, yeah. Another nice crappie. Look at this guy. Look at this fish. Look at that guy. We gotta get one of these real huge ones. We're catching nice eating size crappie, but there, there's some big ones in here, I know it. 14 plus inches. We're getting a lot of nice 11, 12 inches right now. A couple tens probably. We don't want any tens, but we're getting nice 11, 12s. We'll get a, a, there's some big fish in this lake, I know. All right, here comes a crappie. He sees my bait, here he comes. There's the bite. Got him. Yep. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a nice fish. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy coming right through the hole. Look at that, guys. That is awesome. Those are really nice fish. Look at this guy. Right on that soft plastic. Look at this. Look at this fish. These are beastly fish. early morning bite I wanted to get up early and get out here because I think these fish are feeding they're on an earlier pattern right now and it, it turned out to be true I think these are gonna shut down as the Sun gets a little bit higher today so I wanted to get out here and I actually got out here later than I wanted to but I still got a good window and it's finally nice you can see I'm wearing my light layering jacket, which it had been way below zero for two weeks straight, just about. Uh, it's finally warmed up, and the fishing has picked up along with it. Now I need to jump into a new hole because the fish have left this hole. That's all right. I've kind of got one appearing down there. I think the fish at the school is finally moving on. But today has just been awesome. I mean, this is this is fish fishing is hard to beat. And the way you get days like today, it's a lot of trial and error. You're not gonna just go out and find these kind of spots. It's, well, you will, but it's gonna take trial and error. You're gonna have to just try a whole bunch of spots and then you're gonna find these awesome spots where you can catch fish like this. Let's jump over to another hole. This hole is good to us. Let's try one of these first holes. I, I haven't tried my first hole in a while. It's so, I mean, as windy as it is, and I haven't even need to put my big jacket on. Oh shoot, I forgot my scoop. And 
One thing that'll really wreck a, wreck a day, freezing, sticking your hands in the water, freezing your fingers. Which the wind is blowing all my holes. Hope I can get my bait down in time. Yes, there's a fish down there. Oh, he sees it. He sees it. He's coming so far off the bottom to get this bait. I mean, this, this guy was sitting six foot off the bottom, 15 feet of water. Got him. Got him. Another nice crappie. Another nice crappie on that plastic. I mean, that's awesome. That's a big crappie, too. Look at this guy. Nice crappie. There's something on the bottom, probably a perch, but just for fun, let's go back down there and see. Sometimes as my bait's been falling, crappies have been seeing it. That's what just happened right now. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming right up off the bottom. Come on. It's going to be sunny today, guys, which um, when that sun gets up too high, I, these crappies are probably going to shut, shut off. So, you know, you got to get them while the getting's good. And right now, the getting is good. Here comes a crappie. Oh, look at him fly off the bottom. I wonder if that's a perch. Got him, nope. That's a nice fish. This guy came flying in. Yep, another nice crappie. Another nice crappie. We're gonna be cleaning fish forever tonight. Here this, this afternoon. Another nice crappie. This is awesome. We're gonna have our we're gonna have our fish fry in no time. Which is good because we needed to get some fish. I wanna try a new fish taco re recipe. You guys like fish tacos? I'm gonna I haven't made them myself yet, so I'm gonna try that out today, I think. Pan fried crappie. Hard to beat. No tiff, look at that, just that nymph. They love this nymph. They love that nymph. It's chartreuse, you can't, they love this bait. Here one comes, here he comes. I think, I don't even know, I might even have a fish. No. Yep, got him. Got him. Nice fish here. Oh, this is gonna be a nice one. Yeah. I lost him at the hole. That was a big fish. Shoot. Why is this thing coming? this ice sign to build up and it cost me a big fish there I, I couldn't real fast enough there's still fish down there I gotta get down there there's still fish down there I just lost a big one guys potential for the biggest one of the day shoot and all my fish are leaving got a fish down in this hole we gotta get the bait down before it leaves Nice crappie. Look at that guy. Nice crappie. This guy came on. See this chartreuse nymph. Got to make sure we're hooked up, right? And I can't tell if I've got. I got no fish down there right now, but I got to get down here. There's a guy fishing right next to me. That's why I'm talking quiet. He's not catching any fish. One's flying up to my bait, I think. Yep. Got him. Got him. Look at this guy. It's a nice, oh, it's a nice fish, guys. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Look at that crappie. Just inhaled that nymph. Let's go, guys. So this bait is really working well. It's the Chartreuse VMC Nymph. This sucker is just pounding these fish. I would recommend you go out and get one of them right now. Let's get right back down there. We're going to have enough fish for a fish fry. I'm going to probably head home pretty soon. We're just we're taking it to these fish. This is awesome. Down here. Had to throw the old jacket on. It's starting to get a little chilly. 
All right, here we got a fish. Here we got a fish. Here he comes. He's on the bait. Got him. This is a nice fish, too. This is a nice fish. There we go. Nice fish. Look at that guy. Nice crappie, guys. Just caught. This crappie is huge. This is a... I make sure you see this and the guys behind me doesn't. Look at this crappie. Look at that. That's a wall hanger. This crappie is absolutely huge. That's got to be a 15, 16 plus inch crappie. I don't have a tape measure on it. That might be even bigger than that. Look at this fish. I caught this guy on this yellow nymph. All right, guys. Here's our final, our final count for the day. We had a pretty awesome day. I mean, we did all this damage in about an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes. That's the power of getting on the bite when it's hot, because that's a, that's a lot of crappies. All right, guys, we're back from fishing. I'm in my garage about to clean these fish. Just wanted to show you guys one more time what we ended up with for the day. I mean, we absolutely pounded these crappies. This one here was just a, an absolute beast. Not as big as I thought when I pulled through the hole. I was pretty excited. It's a nice 14, 14 and a half incher. That's a good quality fish, but not quite the the beast I thought it was. But still, awesome day. We got a lot of, I mean, these are all really nice crappies. Good, good eating size. So we're gonna be able to get a nice fish fry. So thank you guys so much for watching. For more videos like this, and I've got a lot more coming, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys next time.